The Song of Songs is the most sexually evocative book of the Bible. So the rabbis of old sought to move our understanding of it from a narrative of sensual delight to one of spiritual uplift. It was then that they uncovered what was to them a surprising truth about women. In chapter four, verse 11, we read, your lips drip with nectar, my beloved, my bride. Honey and milk lie beneath your tongue. So in their chaste inventiveness, the rabbis reimagined the meaning of the sensual verse this way. The nectar that drips refers to words of prophecy and the mouth it drips from is the mouth of women. This was an astonishing pronouncement for a tradition steeped in the celebration of male voices. Women, all women, it says, are something akin to prophets, or at the very least, gifted with the hint of prophecy. At our very best, when we dare to live deeply, we're able to see what others fail to see. We are able to name what others fail to name. We are able to dare where others fail to dare. And we are able to dream where others fail to dream. I have learned this from all the women in my life, starting with the one who started me off, my most remarkable, incomparable mother, Shoshana Cardin, who was with us today. <laughs> and my grandmothers and my sister, who was also here, and my daughter and daughters-in-law, and my machatenistas, one of whom is here today as well, and my wonderful, incomparable Friday morning Yaya -Ya Sisterhood group, <laughs> who are here today. Indeed, too many known and unknown women to count. And of course, um, taking a lesson from Congress, I can reach across the aisle to the men in my life as well. My long forbearing husband, <clears throat> who puts up with, with more than, um, than, he, than he deserves to have to put up with. My sons, my brother, one of whom is here today, my other one couldn't make it, and all the other men in my life. And I learned that each of us brings to this world some kernels of prophetic vis wisdom some amount of prophetic daring, some incalculably, incalculably valuable prophetic teaching that was born of a blending of our unique gifts and our unique experience, and thus is uniquely ours to give. We dare not waste it or deny it or belittle it. It is up to each of us to discover our kernel, to own it and grow it and speak it and bind it to the prophecy of others for it is in daring and doing together that we can nudge this world a bit closer to the way it was meant to be. So my pearl is Ali v'hatzlichi, go find that kernel of prophecy in you and speak it with confidence.